And you can see a small built sister. Uh, that's why she's called Little Ant. And her name is Pan Xiao Tong because she's she's able to speak in uh, Chinese in Mandarin and so she will do the translation so they were they were talking to the restaurant owner in uh, ordering the menu the food in preparation for the upcoming medical missions and uh, she was telling the restaurant owner that we don't uh, we don't eat meat, so please prepare, you know, all the uh, vegetarian meals. And there was a, a chance upon uh, uh, this person and show the photographs and show a photograph of the, the mother. They were, this photo was taken 25 years ago when Chiji uh, first, give, of conducted the uh, the charity relief distribution due to the flooding. That was back in 1979, and that was and this lady. Uh, she was one of the recipients, and she, there was a photo taken of her. And now they happened to meet her again. And at that time, the flood was uh, up to this high. It's above their head. So they have to ride on boats. And, uh, and they were so joyful to have meet again. She was truly happy to see city volunteers again after all these years. Yeah, isn't it very touching? All these years. And just from a photograph, we are able to reconnect with, uh, with her and to meet her again. So now let's go to Cambodia. And, and our team in Cambodia, let's all shout together. I like to be with you because you have positive energy. Let's have uh, brother Mingjin. They are the person in charge of Cambodia uh, branch. So let's wait for Brother Mingxin. <laughs> so now let's have Brother Xie to come and online and share with us. Yes, the Brother Mingxin, please. Dear uh, Master, this is Abel, everyone online, good morning. And our sister Xiao Tong, although she's small, but she has a strong will. And, and all events, she will always be there. She never gives up on any activities. Even though she is less than 40 kilograms, she always take up heavy tasks and never back down. And she's our media team. And she'll be carrying the heavy camera, climbing up and down, capturing the best images uh, and footprints of every volunteer bodhisattva in, uh, in each event. And after the event, she will rush to back to edit, edit the footages, all, even through the late nights. She wants to complete the task within the same day. And all the news and videos and has to be edited and she will ensure that uh, her task is completed uh, completed promptly. And while she is doing her work, she will, always, she will also be listening to Master's teaching through Life Wisdom. And um, 
And we are grateful to the invitation of teacher Mei Yun uh, to have us to, to have a Cambodian translation for the Kaohsiung online book study. As well as our diligence day, uh, Sister Xiao Tong is also our, our translator uh, for the diligence day. And we nicknamed her Little Ant because she led us to climb Mount Sumeru together. Because of her diligence, so we follow her. And we, were, and we follow her as she led the way. So, yes, we're grateful to. So now let's invite uh, our little Anne to share her experiences on a journey in city. Okay, let's have uh, Sister Xiao Tong. Please share your slides, the PPT. Yes, now we can see her slides. <laughs> your voice is like an end. It's so soft. Okay. Firstly, I'm very grateful to uh, Brother Xie for recommending me to, <laughs> to, to lead me because he's always in front and leading me, leading us. So I'm for just following him. Dear uh, Venerable Master, Jing Si, Abbot Master, city family members around the world, and the online book club, I'm a Cambodian city volunteer, Pan Xiao Tong. The Dharma name given to me by Master is Li Tong. First of all, I'm very grateful to Teacher Mei Yun. I'm very honored to be able to share with you everyone here. I'm so grateful to Brother Xie Mingxun and Sister Hu Meiling because now is actually my working time. And these two, they are my bosses. They allow me to share during my working time. Uh, July 2012 was the first day I met Siji. It was also because my boss invited me to attend the Happy Life Lecture. The speaker was our brother Liu Qiyu. Although I didn't know what kind of organization Siji was, uh, I was lucky enough to sign up for the monthly distribution of the long-term aid charity cases. And from then, I have became a volunteer. And I have not stopped to participate in the city activities. So uh, one time I met a sister Bao Hui from Singapore. And then she asked me, can you help to take pictures for Cixi? And I immediately replied, yes. I didn't even think about it. So I'm currently the main contact person of Cixi Cambodia's uh, media team. And my, even though I can speak Chinese well, uh, but I'm very grateful to, to be in this media team. And I didn't know much at that time, but uh, after participating in the course and I, I learned about uh, using pictures to tell stories and find touching pictures to share. And uh, all these uh, activities allow me uh, to see sufferings uh, and realizing my blessings during the pandemic, during the long-term care, disaster relief, And and we can see that and we can see that uh, when no one is willing to help, there are still people who are willing to come out and to to save people. These are the Chiji people, and and Master often teaches. Although the suffering people cannot venture out to seek help, we can go and reach out to them uh, 
Therefore, during the pandemic, uh, people would uh, use great love to help those in need. Okay, now we look at the uh, uh, flood relief distribution in Batambang. Uh, there, are, there are six counties, uh, 34 districts, and there are 20,000 affected households by the flood. So we have to go and survey the situation to understand the needs. And then uh, and it took us about two weeks to complete the uh, relief distribution uh, with a total of almost 50,000 relief packages. And um, in February, uh, the community inspection has spread, has increased from February to April for a total of 46 days, uh, almost 2,496 2, people were di diagnosed and, uh, and 10,000 people were quarantined. So, so Chiji had donated protective equipment to TIDA. Uh, TIDA is the Youth League Medical Volunteer Team in Cambodia and also to the uh, pandemic control points of the county government. And we also provided assistance to the, this, to the poor, through the disabled uh, associations. And we sent to all the welfare bureau. And you can see that despite the pandemic, city volunteers still venture out to provide relief and uh, prevention materials to all the hosp hospitals and we still continue to provide the monthly distribution for our long-term cases and, and this is uh, this is the uh, the orphanage that we visited for the first time it's called the future life orphanage and when we visited, it happened to be lunchtime, and I saw that they had a very simple dish with rice. And the rice is it's also very yellow. It doesn't look it doesn't look very good and nutritious. And there was nothing. And I thought that every meal should have at least two dishes and one soup or some fruits or dessert. I couldn't bear to see that they had so little to eat, so I decided to help them. And I introduced Suji to the person in charge and said that our master wanted us to help those in need. And we will also consider their, everyone's health. And uh, we hope to provide healthy food to others without causing any burden. And also to promote vegetarian meals together. And, and we invited the children, the, the older elders, older children, the 15-year-old, to come and cook together. So this boy, the 14-year-old boy from the orphanage, Peng Yong Jie, shared that, today I learned to cherish and learn not to hurt animals because animals have life and parents just like us. If we separate them from their parents, they will have no parents like us. And the dishes of this meal are delicious. Although there's no meat, it tastes good. And this is the garbage mountain in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. And uh, there were many people who were, who were scavengers in the uh, garbage mountain just for to earn a living. And despite the pandemic, they still have to go out and, and uh, bear the risk of being infected by COVID. Sometimes they couldn't even sell the things that they, they collected or the price is very low. So these people are living in, in, in poverty. But they have affinity with Cici volunteers. And whenever they see our volunteers in uniform, they will greet us and say hello to us. And this is uh, one of the, the Garbage Mountain residents, Zheng Su Qian, 59 years old. Uh, she said that life is really difficult. She can only eat one meal a day and there's nothing left to eat. But she can also do good deeds through Cici to help others. She said that she shared that she had received love from Cici many times, and she has a bamboo coin bank uh, that could. Uh, and every time Cici volunteers come, you know she could uh, do, pass the uh, the bamboo coin bank uh, 
the uh, the love donations to our volunteers to help others. And every time I see the images on Thai TV, I'm very moved. I also see the love of city people around the world. In Taiwan, I see the compassion of our master and the love of many people donating money for vaccines. And now I see city people in Poland to help the Ukrainian refugees. I'm very grateful to Brother Xie Mingqin because he was willing to take up responsibility in city and for giving me the opportunity to study and learn. I'm grateful to the city Kaohsiung Online Reading Club, Teacher Mei Yun. Although my Chinese is not good, I'm very willing to try it. And Jingzi aphorism says, don't underestimate your own infinite potentials. There's another saying that we are very familiar with, that uh, you don't need to be very good to start, but you need to start to be very good. In fact, Wednesday is my working day. And I felt embarrassed uh, not to be working while doing the translation. When I was translating, there would, would be calls from customers, but I couldn't reply right away. I was a little flustered and couldn't catch the speaker's true meaning for the translations, and sometimes the connection was not stable. So I'm, I'm very grateful to teacher Mei Yun. And uh, if I'm not working in this company, I would not have this opportunity to give and to contribute. I'm very lucky and very blessed and very joyful to be able to walk on the city path. I learned a lot of things that I haven't seen before. I will use the Master's Dharma in my life to give with great love in addition to having no desires and demands. And I must also be grateful. In this life, I'm really grateful to have met Siti and learned Master's teachings of Bodhisattva Dharma and walk the Bodhisattva way. From seeing suffering, knowing blessings, to caring for all beings, from small love to great love. Everything I do at Siti is the most valuable thing in my life. Thank you, Master. Thank you all. I hope it's not too fast. <laughs> it's really cute. Towards the end, her voice becomes louder. <laughs> okay, and when we listen mindfully, we can still hear uh, her, her sharings very clearly. She's really blessed and fortunate because she's still drawing a salary from her boss and at the same time able to do tzuji. So her boss is uh, Brother Xie Minxin. Uh, who is the uh, person in charge of city Cambodia. <laughs> and our brother Xie is really very diligent and willing to, to take up new responsibilities. And during the, the rice distributions to the flood, uh, flood relief, uh, most of them, they will be very uh, very humble and giving, doing it selflessly. So I'm, I'm very happy to have all of you. And uh, let's give a big applause to our little aunt and uh, Pan Xiaotong and also Brother Xie Mingjin. Hope they can come back again and share with us life. Uh, on site in person. Okay, so now let's do some stretching and exercise. It's time for us to move our body. Tahokai,就在最后的时候声音突然变大。中间的几次像小蚂蚁一样的小声音。不过我们用心听,我们还是听得非常的一个清楚。这就是我们可爱的小童,他觉得他很幸福,真的很幸福。因为他今天是有领
Most of the people after two hours of uh, listening to the sharing, now let us move. Step，step，step，温暖哦。好，请大家持续留言哈，虽然我没办法呢，就是一一的给回复，让郑涵掌声，我我觉得透过这样子让大家更认识我们团队，我真的很幸福哦。所以我们再次给小蚂蚁。小童的世界热烈掌声，还有我们的明君，谢谢您的踊跃。Wipe the glass up and down. Join each 